Hey guys, what's up? So about a month ago, we heard from Max Weinberg that Samsung is working on a Galaxy Fold Lite, which he mentioned was a rumor at that time. But a new patent from the company reveals the design of the phone that may have water resistance. Also, we have some info on the camera specifications of the Note 20 series, along with the new mid-range 5G SoC, the Exynos 880 that Samsung has announced in the later part of the video. So stay tuned for that. So Samsung has been launching a lot of foldable smartphones lately starting with the Galaxy Fold followed by the Galaxy Z Flip and now preparing to launch a successor to the Fold but we've also been hearing about a new Galaxy Fold Lite from Samsung that could go for as low as $1100 the idea is to get foldable phones in a lot of people's hand by making them cheaper to buy before these phones completely take over the smartphone industry the phone will supposedly use parts from 2018 2019 and 2020 to meet that $1100 price tag Also the outer display is rumored to be smaller and going by this patent it seems the outer display will be a long strip along the side of the phone which will only be useful to check notifications and receive and end calls over that is the outer selfie camera it is a far cry from the one on the original fold which has a 4 inch outer display which is much more useful than this also it is expected the fold 2 will have an even bigger 6.3 inch display so we know where they are making a compromise With this kind of a display the phone will need to be unfolded for doing any basic tasks like checking Instagram feeds and all so it will feel more or less like a foldable tablet than a phone that being said do let me know what do you think about this in the comments the inner display is more or less similar to the original fold with a plastic screen and a notch on the upper left corner that has two front facing cameras which will probably be the same 10 megapixel and 8 megapixel depth sensor duo seen with the galaxy fold The size and resolution will also be similar to the fold. Where we do see a difference is at the back camera setup which has a triple camera arrangement with what appears to be a periscope lens which brings it in line with Samsung's 2020 flagship smartphones like the S20 Ultra and the Note 20. But I'm not too sure about that. It may as well just be the flash with a dual camera setup since the phone has to be a budget foldable device. What's even interesting is that the patent is listed as electronic device including waterproof structure which indicates that the phone may have a water resistant seal which is great considering the moving parts that make a foldable phone fold. It is not clear as to how Samsung would do it but it should be an achievement if they can do something like this and maybe we can expect the Galaxy Fold 2 to be water resistant as well. It also has a side mounted fingerprint sensor like the original Fold along with stereo speakers and a USB type C charging port. The phone will be available in a 4G only variant with 256 GB base storage and made out of glass and aluminum. Not bad for a folding phone that sells just for $1100 in my opinion, provided you can live with that smaller cover display. Also according to Ross, Samsung will sell a Galaxy Fold special edition which is just a rebadged Galaxy Fold that will sell for the same $1100 price. So you have got your options if you want a cheaper fold or the last generation fold at a cheaper price. Moving on we have some more info on the camera setup of the Note 20 and Note 20 Plus. According to news from South Korea the smaller Note 20 would have a 12 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera which is the same as the S20 and S20 Plus. But the larger Note 20 Plus will have a 12 megapixel telephoto camera instead of the 48 megapixel seen on the S20 Ultra. Other specifications remain the same as the S20 Ultra with a 108 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. The downgrade in resolution for the telephoto camera might be the reason for the 100x space zoom to be absent on the phone. It seems like Samsung is facing difficulties optimizing the quality of the photos taken from the telephoto camera. The S20 Ultra is praised for photos captured up to 30x, but anything above that is mostly unusable. So we'll have to see how Samsung can improve the telephoto camera on the Note 20 Plus. Also in the news Samsung has launched a 5G mid-range SoC the Exynos 880 has a similar architecture to the Snapdragon 765 from Qualcomm with two powerful Cortex A76 cores clocked at 2 GHz and six Cortex A55 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz This is manufactured on Samsung's 8 nanometer FinFET process and supports LPDDR4X RAM with UFS 2.1 storage It uses Mali's G76 GPU which can drive full HD plus displays and has advanced gaming APIs to reduce loading times and deliver high frame rates On the camera side the SoC can have the main camera up to 64 megapixel or dual 20 megapixel units and record videos at 4K 30 fps also it has latest bluetooth 5.0 The chip has support for sub 6 GHz 5G speeds with up to 2.55 Gbps for downloads and 1.38 Gbps for uploads Interesting thing is that it can combine both 4G and 5G at the same time to deliver speeds as high as 3.55 Gbps for downloads and 1.8 Gbps for uploads Vivo has already announced the Y70s smartphone which uses this and we can expect even more phones from Samsung as well. That's it for this video. Do let me know what do you think about this in the comments. Smash the like button if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye-bye and stay safe.